Yo, what's up, guys? I do have to let you guys know that this is sponsored by Conqueror's Blade, and as always with sponsored videos, clicking the link in the description will help me out a lot, so if you guys are interested, check the description. So Conqueror's Blade is a free-to-play tactical MMO where you play in 15 vs. 15 skirmishes, and you can customize a powerful commander specialized in 10 unique weapon classes, each with their own unique special abilities. There's over 55 diverse units, melee, ranged, and cavalry units inspired by history's greatest military forces are yours to command. There's a special incentive for new players who sign up to Conqueror's Blade, an arsenal of amazing battle supplies. So yeah, if you guys are interested, please check out the link in the description. It's also on the screen right now, of course, and let's get into it. Yo, what's up guys? That's my final sponsor ad for a little bit, I do believe, at least for the ones I have lined up currently. Um, it kind of sucks, because I, uh, I was going to review the replays of my Winter Champ sets, but kind of doomed because they did the update before I could save those. I have been playing this game a shit ton, though. I am really prepping for CEO, so I will not disappoint myself. Or you guys, I guess, too. Um, but this video, I want to talk about these new experimental features. Um, there are a lot of, of really, really interesting changes that the Balance Team, TWK, uh, are trying to implement here. I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit of what they are. I think they're super exciting. I think pretty much all of them should go through. Oh, not this map, not this map. Um... But yeah, I mean, experimental, if you guys, I mean, most of you guys probably don't even know what experimental is. I have to re-put this on. Oh, no, I don't. Um, so experimental is where BMG, they, like, put some gameplay me or, like, mechanic changes in, and then they allow the player base to test it, and then you can give feedback uh, in any of the public platforms. So one thing is you can fall through the platform frame one of your dash so i think that is very useful especially on guns you can do like uh dash down fast fall sair some something like this um, i really like that another thing is so right now if you don't so okay in the current game if you dash like this and you don't hold back before you go into the air, you're literally boned, like you go flying. Uh, let me show you this, actually. You literally just like go off like a torpedo. So, this has probably happened to literally all of us. Um, yeah, you just go flying off, right? And you can't like control your character at all. Whether that's like an accident or like you misjudge or whatever. I think this, this change, wait, did I not? Okay, I didn't turn experimental back on um so what this change does is it lets you hold back and you get much more control over your character and i think so not only is it good because of that it helps you limit mistakes in case you do miss and put like that um, but also you can dash off and get a very precise like ground bound if you time it right I, I've been struggling to do it consistently, like, I've been trying to get it so, like, I dash and I, like, ground pound insta over the edge, but I don't think that's, like, really what they're going for. I think what what this change is, is intended for is, um, like, correction, mainly, like, movement correction. And then the other thing that, that is in test features right now, other than cannon changes, is, uh, they made ledge cancel dashes, like, three times as easy to hit literally three times as easy so i think that's a good thing i think having movement like that relatively easy so that you don't mess it up and like don't get hard fucked for going for it um is is always a good thing but the only problem is i don't i was i was talking to twk about it and i didn't really fully understand why but basically you can never ledge cancel so, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think ledge canceling is actually a pretty 
like insanely staple feature in Brawlhalla. Like you can literally never ledge cancel and you literally never snap to the ledge unless you dash. So it's kind of weird. Um, I'm curious to how you guys feel about that. I think ledge canceling on some weapons is kind of irrelevant, but for me, like on guns, th there's not really a way. So say I'm like, let's move the bot. Okay, say Artemis is here and I'm here there's not, not really a way to get a good punish other than ledge cancel delighting, right? So I think it's like kind of sad if if this goes through, but um, actually the other thing that goes along with that is you can actually dare through platforms and not snap to it. So I, I was saying, I was, like I was suggesting to, to them that maybe if, if you hold down and left, then you get then you can ledge cancel and if you hold straight down then you just dare but uh there's like a problem with that and i don't know exactly what it is but uh, yeah i mean i think overall these chains are like, pretty sick especially the um falling through the thing falling through dash falling through platform mid dash is sick so yeah let's get into some games and test this out by the way my, my Lara Croft is kind of looking nasty, like, I've been playing against some top players in ranked, and like, I went down 100 elo, but I actually feel like I'm improving, which is something that I haven't felt in like, a while, I feel like I've been like, stagnating pretty hard, and like, just going backwards when I like, randomly switch characters and shit, so, I think the plan for now is like, Lara, aka Diana, um, for the most part, and then I think, for me, Scythe and Gauntlets are hard, um, mainly Scythe, so I think I'm gonna have Ada for that, because I, I do think that the Spear into Scythe matchup is pretty good, um, and I, it's kind of a given, but I think Guns into Scythe is actually pretty bad after playing it a bit today, but maybe it's just result-based analysis for playing bad. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I am gonna upload this in like 9 hours. I am dog shit, and I can't do that recovery. Um, you just random wake up. That's that's the key. You just random wake up sometimes, and it just tilts them, and then you win. I've also been uh, experimenting a bit with edge guarding on guns. I think you can actually get it down to a science, kind of the same way sword does. Just you have to be way more precise because you don't really have that like 180 degree hitbox. You only got the like 120 with it there. Um, and I think uh, the dynamic that gun ground pound gives is very good because if, if you're in the right position with with guns oh, and you're hovering over them and they dodge improperly, um, you can get like a massive punish with ground pound. So I, I'm going to be working on that a lot over the coming weeks before CEO, which I don't know how many of you guys have been following Brawlhalla for a long time. But there was CEO Dreamland in 2017, it's 2020 now, in case you guys don't know. Um, and I actually won that tournament in 2017, so I do have a title to defend. It's happening on March 15th, I think. So I'm like... Wait, is that shit actually two weeks from now? Dude, time is going by so fast. I only have like, literally two months left of school, or three months I guess left of school. I'm a senior right now and then I'm going full time, uh, content creation, which is very exciting. So definitely gonna hopefully get some stuff that isn't just me playing fucking Brawl or 1v1 going. I've been trying to play with Steven for like the past, uh, the past like five days straight and he always ghosts me. Or like says he's busy, says he's gonna play later, and then never plays later. So I think we're gonna lose winters, but it's okay, I guess. Maybe that'll wake him up, you know? Okay, so, oh, I mean, that was trolled by me, but it worked somehow. That wouldn't work against a very good player, I don't think. But uh, I, I was talking to some top players, and they, I, I was like, Gun, guns are bad off stage. And then they all flamed me, and I was like, surprised, because I've always felt that guns were kind of bad off stage. But they were telling me that gun dare is very good, 
and uh, I, I took their words to heart, and yeah, they're right. So, even me, someone who has probably like 4,000, eh, maybe not 4,000, like 3,000 hours of experience on one weapon, I still can have like super misconstrued uh, understandings of weapons. By the way, I, I bet there's like some static going on in the background right now, and this will be the last video of that garbage, because I am ordering a new mic as soon as this video ends. That reminded me. Um, hopefully that shit never happens again. I think it's because, like, my cord for my mic is broken, because my mic keeps, like... There was a time where I would, like, slam my desk for content, and, like, my mic would fall to the ground, and I think that shit happened too many times, like, in a row. And it literally broke the mic. So, yeah. That's not one of my prouder things that has happened to me in my lifetime. Um. Yeah, that shit is tragic. Like, every time I, every time I, like, record a, uh, a thingy, a sponsor, like, an ad, it tilts me so hard, because I have to, I have to play it back. And, like, it has that disgusting-ass, like, static noise. And yeah, it tilts me. And and I don't even have to watch like the whole video of it. And you guys have to watch the whole video of it. But I I have no idea why you guys even watch this shit. It it would make me actually insane. Anyways. Oh this guy again. Kinda sucks cause uh got all these fucking epic style platform mechanics and we're getting flat maps. But Yeah. I'm gonna play Canon for like two games after this, I think. Then call it. But yeah, I mean, I'm so excited to go full time content, streaming every day, making videos every day. It's gonna be so exciting. Hopefully, I can branch out out of Brawlhalla as well. Um, in that, because right now, I feel like a lot of the times when I'm recording videos or streaming, I have like low energy because of school and like just other stresses that are going on, but if, if I just have, like, all I do, play video games, you know, live, don't have any other, any other, like, serious obligations, I feel like I'm gonna be able to enjoy myself a lot more, and then also be more entertaining, because that's really what keeps me from uploading a lot, is, like, I feel like every time... Um, I feel like I should upload. I feel like I can't really, like, record a video because I'm super tired or, like, not in the mood to record due to, like, stress of, like, school or some shit like that. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I feel like Bo... I was talking to Pugsy, actually, about it. Pugsy, our Brawlhalla North American Winter Champion. And he has some strong opinions about Bo being... Very good, which I would have to agree with. I think Bo right now, it just controls so much space. And also, it, it deals well with um, with floaty styles, which is probably why he thinks it's so good, because that's like his main like play style is he floats a lot. I said I would play cannon. Um, but yeah, I mean, this the kind of stuff like that I'd like to talk about... Um, like winters and like mainly like like balance and stuff like that and like the overall meta i feel like that's not something i should make like videos about necessarily because overall like my opinions change a lot and i mean that's kind of i feel like that's a good thing but um i i feel like that's more suited for like a stream thing where you guys can like actually discuss it with me instead of just like me regurgitating shit and then like I don't know. Then me. I totally lost my train of thought. I'm literally a griefer. I get, I get, I just, how did that miss? I get too caught up in, oh yeah, the, this, this is what's going on. I get too caught up in the heat of the moment. of playing Gamist and Experimental at, what time is it? 2.50, 25 a.m. Oh my god, I have to render this video. And then I have to, dude, he's a nut. Holy. 
get too caught. Dude, I'm gonna have to render this video and then upload it and make a thumbnail. And then it's gonna come out when I'm sleeping. Dude, I'm so sad they're reworking Canon, to be honest. I said this a lot. I liked old Canon, even though it's kind of cheeks. But yeah, I'm gonna say this again. I will be streaming Steven and I's 2v2 tournament, POV, at uh, Winter Champs this weekend. What day is today? Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday when I'm uploading it. So tomorrow at 2 Eastern? Um, dude, he's so actually good. Tomorrow at 2 Eastern, I will be live streaming at twitch.tv slash Um RPOV. By the way, I was peeping the subscriber count. We're almost at 80,000 subscribers. That shit is unreal. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I feel like one of the main appeals for my content is my uh, beautiful thumb or er, beautiful title creation. I feel like every time I, I go on and I like, he's gonna do some dumb thing. Oh snap. I'm dead. He's dead. He's not dead. This is a, this is a tight one with my boy Gamus. Wow, all for it to end like that. That's so tragic. I'll hit him with the web toss. Fuck, I, I forgot what I was saying, man. Oh, what the fuck was I saying? Fuck, I lost, dude. I lost my train of thought. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I feel like a poet. Every time I, like, go to the title, like, typing it in, I just feel like it's it's really just my main attraction. Other than like my unholy skill and my sense of humor that is just unrivaled. So yeah. Also, why am I in this queue for five seconds? It is experimental. I should be instantly getting a queue. Oh no. Okay, okay. Watch out. By the way, you guys should tell me what videos to upload other than Twos with Sandstorm. And I will do all, I can do the Winter Ones review, but I can only talk about like in passing the stuff that isn't the Cosmic set, because I only got streamed for one set against Cosmic. So yeah. Oh shit, he's a god. Boom. By the way, I bet most of you have gone this far do already, but follow me on Twitter, please, in case you want to see some, you know, updates on my life or just what's going on with upload schedules or streams. I tweet out all my streams, at least I try to. To be honest, I haven't tweeted out like any of the last five streams I've done, but I will definitely tweet out the one with Steven. And uh, I'm about to go off. I did that the wrong way. I'm going to scream. Dude, I literally was about to posterize him, but he fucking taunted. I'm actually kind of heated now. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, I think, like, guides would be good. Um, but I don't know what guides I could do. I could do bow. Well, I could do guns. Dude, I could make a guns guide. That'd be nuts. I should do that. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Catch the stream tomorrow. Uh, no video tomorrow, probably. Unless it's Suze with Steven. Uh, us pracking. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the flip. Let me know what you think about these experimental features. I literally couldn't do anything with them. Because, like, I got no platform maps other than fucking planes of pat. Whatever, I'm over it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, you know. You know the deal. Peace.